This Elsa player. This Elsa person. Oh, oh, Shaw has really good anti-airs. But, um, I already picked this guy. Hmm. I don't know if there's really any, um, Arcana anti-airs. Some of the Arcanas, Arcanas, uh, the Fire Arcana and the Ice Arcana give you some reversal supers. Like a Fire Explosion and an Ice Explosion. So you can kind of use those, kind of. But... I mean, to input, they're double quarter circle motions. So to input that in reaction to someone doing this, um, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot <laughs> harder than like a flash kick or, yeah. you know, just fire. <laughs> like, you know what? Now that I'm vice, I'm gonna demonstrate to you the dash 5A. See if it'll work. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do like a. There we go. Don't let me down, vice. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Cause her her five A hits way above her. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I can probably just actually dash right under that and crouch. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I might even be able to crouch if that's kind of risky. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. dedicated anti air. So Vice's five A is surprisingly good because it hits above her. Elsa has this move, which is like it's just. Completely ridiculous answer. It's a little bit hard to time. I actually should have done this in the other order so I could record Vice. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's this is a uh, backwards in C for C. It's incredibly good, and you can like, oh come on, get hit. Do, 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 do. You can combo from it too if you homing cancel it right away. Uh oh, there we go. So yeah. Um, let's get some more character specific anti airs going. <clears throat> I might edit I might edit out a lot of these uh character switching moments. Yeah. So Shaw has crazy good anti airs. Petra kind of. You can shoot people with the guns. Kind of. Let's I'm just gonna do like really simple anti airs. Um Dorothy has some simple anti airs. Definitely editing, editing this out, actually. <laughs> I don't want to have people sitting around. All right, let's take a moment to let the editing... All right, so simple anti-air. Charles has two really good anti-airs. 5B, obviously an anti-air, and 2B, which is way above her. Um, one of the really nice things about these anti-airs is that they don't clash. So, you know, she can have her... She can have her little stick out. It doesn't matter. You just, you know, whatever. Well, it also means people have to respect you a lot, especially if they're above you. Um, like Shaw has some air combos that end in, oh wow, that end in like a wall slam. Wow. There we go. Yeah. So now you're above her, and now you just have to like respect this or block it because like there's, there's not really anything else you can do. Um, yeah, Dorothy has 6A, which is pretty good. This is actually air unblockable too, which is nice. Which means even if they home in and block, um, <clears throat> kind of forgot to mention that, you can block while you home in like this. So, you know, if you're like, oh crap, they're going to anti-air me, you can kind of just block. It, it alters your trajectory too, so. And it also slows you down. But yeah, so, you know, if you try to home in on someone, you're like, oh, I did a bad homing, I'm going to get hit, I'm going to get anti-air, you can block. Unless, you know, if they catch you in the startup of the homing. Like that. <laughs> and yeah. Um, oh, by the way, if you speed homing... Whoops. There's a period where you actually can't block. Whoops. Like that. Oh, what? I didn't speed homing, did I? No, I didn't. There we go. Huh. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there's a period where you just actually can't walk. I'm going to cut edit that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Dorothy has 6A, which is air unblockable, and 4B, backwards in B, is a, also a really good anti-air. Um, obviously, if this clashes... <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's multi-hit, right? It's multi-hit, yeah. so yeah. Let's see if I can set this up. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah, she's got really good anti airs. Alright, so who's next? Uh, there's a lot of characters with some good anti airs. Sometimes characters have an air unblockable move that's really good, 
but it's not actually a good anti-air. Um, in those cases, usually you'll have a little chain to set up the uh, the, the, um, the air unblockable. Like Saki, does Kira have for anti-air? Well, mine I have like the kick thing when I dash in, right? Like some character with like good moves to do when you, like if someone's about to open, you just jump and dash and like hit them in the air. Mm -hmm. Real. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's not always like grounded, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention one of these options here. Yeah. So, ooh, I did this in the wrong order. That's okay. So another option you can do, a lot of characters have a move that have flash frames on startup. Oh. This is gonna be hard because she's like hitting me at a weird time like that. So if you press one of those at the right time, you know, you get a clash. Obviously, sometimes it's easier to just do your anti here. Like this is for this is Catherine's two way. Just poke poke. Um and Ki Kira has Kira's similar. I guess I can't really demonstrate it that well. Um but Kira has a bunch of moves that have clash frames on them. Like that. And the nice thing is, let me see if I can actually do this. Like that. So, you know, with Kira, you can flash their jump in and then grab them when they land. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, what else? Let's do some other characters. <clears throat> Lilica, not much. Fiona has... She doesn't really have like a button she can press and here. Akane does. Akane has a really good button. Yoriko kind of does, but nobody plays Yoriko. I don't want to. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> well, who else that. does? Maori does. Nazuna does. Yeah. Not really calmly. That's my, that's like a huge one, right? Yeah. Nazuna has a really good one. Actually, Park does. Alright, alright, this will this will work out. Do do. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <coughs> no way, I can, I can edit that out. Yeah. Just making sure it's Just make sure it's recording. Alright, so Akane. I think I jump in the other boat. Yeah, alright. Akane's 2E. The crouching E is the Arcana button, which you can use for Arcana moves and stuff. Um, Occasionally, like most characters, their 2E, even though it's a launcher, actually is really bad as an anti-air. But Akane's is like really good. Like there's a there's a really, really lenient timing on when you can whoops, when you can press it to anti-air people. And if it whiffs, you like you fly backwards. So even if they kind of try to bait it like this, I mean, what are they gonna do? You're over here now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's a really, really good anti-air. Um let's see what else. Yorko has for 3A, which is kind of like this. This is also air unblockable, by the way. And that's a really good end here. I just realized I've never seen someone play Akane. Akane? Yeah. Um, Stefan plays her. He was supposed to come over today, but... Well, yeah. Um, Nazuna. Maori. I suppose I can demonstrate here too is anti air by yeah, okay, I know what it is. <clears throat> I'm out of water. Alright, so Nazuna's anti air. Let me home in here. That's a bad something. Nazuna's anti air is 2B. It's also air unblockable too. This is really good. So again, if they like home and try to block, they get hit anyway. You can duck under it. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the angle too, like yeah, yeah. that's I probably can't even get under it with that. Oh, oh crap. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um if people get over her like this, then two B is not gonna work that well. Um well I imagine most people have a better jump in. Than, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two B can be a little bit bad if they get above you. But um yeah. you can actually use two E as an anti air. Oh, wow. It's a little hard though. Like you kinda have to do it but way before they actually get down to you. Yeah. yeah. So it's easy to play it out, I guess. Well, not really that. It's just it's hard to time, which means okay. online you're gonna have a really hard time using it. But uh, it's really good if they come in from above you. And then Maori's main anti air is six A. So just go move here. And you can cancel that in the grip. So uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Good. You can just whip itself. It seems all your timing wise though. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that was far. Yeah. So, um, if I block... 
Oh, oh wait. I do this and quit. And I try to block that. Oh. The whip is air unblocked. Oh, wow. So even if they, again, they can block the first hit, but they can't block the whip. And yeah, I don't think whip is as good for anti air. Yeah, it's tiny it's usually in the hitbox too. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 pretty big, but um, it's slow. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. 6A is really, is comparatively yeah. way faster than whip. So, uh, yeah, that's now. Let's go to... <clears throat> Like, uh, with Leifang, I think I should Mei, right? Mei Fang? Yeah. Like, uh, what I use when I have the Lightning Arcana, like the Thunder, whatever. Uh, I use, like, the, the, like, the down in Arcana bottom, like, where she hits the Yeah, arm. yeah. But, like, with the Lightning, like, Clash, and it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's another good example yeah. of using Clash Fangs with Anti-Air. It's really, it's, it's basically like carrying, it's kind of like carrying a jump with yeah. DS, except they can react to it and do stuff. So, Konoha. Konoha's best anti I think, is. Um, where is it? Oh, okay, it's 3B. This move. Oh, it has Clash Frame. It has a Clash Frame, and it has a really good hitbox, and if, it cla if they clash with it, you control them. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I like that. This is a Clash Frame. Yeah, um, Heart. So, Heart has a move similar to Saki, uh, 6C. Unlike Saki's 60, Hearts is way faster and way better. And it also has a Clash Frame, so even if you kind of mess it up, which I'm probably going to do here, like that, you still got a punch. <laughs> like, it's it's pretty hard to mess this up. It's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Either you get the Clash Frame or... Okay, there I actually did it. Okay, there I actually didn't do it fast enough, but yeah. Yeah, and sometimes it will like just Clash and not do it. Yeah, so anyway, if you time it correctly, it's really good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Maybe, maybe not as good as like Akane or Elsa, who have crazy good ideas, but definitely something to think about. You know, in general, you can just jump up and 5 8 people. It's probably the safest option. Just jump forward, 5 8, jump up, 5 8, etc. Jump up, J A N. -E. So, yeah. Um, by the way, Hearts Dragon Punch, not a good idea. Like, if you do the C version, and someone holds at you, and then they block. So, I'm not really making my case here. Yeah, it's like body in here. <laughs> um, well, you know what, okay. If people home at you and then they try to like cross you up over your head, it's just like your Dragon Punch goes completely. Like that. Yeah, and it, it's pretty common for people to do that, because they might score a cross up. And also, coming at people at this angle, like this, if they try to like 4D your jump in, they get blown up. So, yeah, don't don't try to use Heart's DP as an anti air. This, this is not like Street Fighter. Her her DP is really good for like. It's better if you like guard cancel though. Yeah, that's really good. Um, so yep, yeah. I guess that's that's most of it. Um, yeah, I guess that's the tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Alright, well, um, I guess this is the end of the tutorial that I've edited into the end. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck on your matches in ranked and on play mode, and if you feel discouraged, uh, probably don't don't play too many matches against the really good players. Yeah, just message me, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th this guy, I forgot to mention it at the start of this tutorial, this guy, the first time he played <laughs> Arcana Heart 3 Love Max. He beat Kane Blue River in the tournament. You can do it too. <laughs> yep. Just it, it was also Kane Blue River's, like, one of his first times playing the game too. Don't but say that. <laughs> nevertheless, you know, Fiona did it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really hype. Really Fiona hype. too strong. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, you know, this guy can do it. You can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and, you know, it, don't get discouraged. It's... The game is, um, it's really fun if you play against people around your skill level. Really, really difficult if you play people at a better skill level. Just because there's so much tech. I mean, I didn't even cover, like, the 50 things you can do with homing. I stuff. guess that's why it would be good to pick it up, like, now on Steam, because a yeah. lot of new players oh, yeah. are here. This yeah. is definitely the time. To, don't, don't wait for any of those crazy Steam sales. If you yeah. do that, there's not going to be as many, you know, players just starting out. 
which is, you know, that's, that's who you want to play against, the players at the same skill level. So, yeah, you grow at the same time when you do that. Yeah, yeah. it's. It, I think the game is super fun when you play people at the same yeah. skill level. But, yeah, you, you don't want to be playing against, like, someone who's watched this video. You know, imagine you apply this against someone who doesn't know how to anti-air or how to even guard cancel and do things. Or if you play, like, Bill and he just <laughs> yeah. and you can't even touch him. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That, that can be pretty discouraging. So, you know, don't... Probably don't play against the super good players. Just you know, if you get matched up against someone with like eighty thousand victory points or whatever, just 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 decline it. You're not dodging. You're doing the. You're having fun. You're doing this type <laughs> thing. Yeah. Just whatever. I, if you match up against yeah. Frosty Bolt, don't just decline the match with him, man. Don't don't play him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching again. Yeah. And good luck. Whoops. Whoops. What did you do? Oh, did you put only red?